How you doing today? GP Toys. Bill stuff here, eh? Well, I got another box in today I did, boys and girls. Friggin' right I did. Come in from the old Amazon that you did, eh? Look at the size of that box, boys. And look what's in it, eh? What a waste of a box. Friggin' see. Oh well, eh? Oh welly. It is what it is. So anyways, we'll get this out of here. We don't need that. Eh? We'll get this out. We don't need that. Frig no. So we got a little RC in today we did, eh? Look at that little thing. 33 plus mile per hour it says, boys and girls. I think it might be uh, interesting to try out. It doesn't say anything about hobby grade, but it does have metal universal joints, eh? It has sealed ball bearings. Holy, metal rear dog bones. Wow, boys. Four wheel independent suspension. Freaking right, it does. Hardware slip clutch. Holy, boys. Adjustable steering trim, restores straight. Freaking right, boys. It's a 1 12th scale, it is. Two wheel drive brushed, eh? So let's check this thing out. Looks kind of cool. Looks like a uh, e Revo, it does, eh? Miniature e Revo. Gee, I wonder where you've seen that body before. Freaking decent. But anyways, I'm looking on the back here. Looks like it comes with a remote, comes with a charger. 180 minutes to charge a battery, boys. Hey. That's quite a while it is. Freaking right it is. What kind of battery is it, boys? It's an S912 battery pack. S912, boys. She's an S912 car. Hey. Good old Amazon. Look them up. GP Toys, boy, on Amazon. I'll put the link below, of course, like I do on all my videos. And make sure you subscribe and like. Why wouldn't you? But let's get this thing open and check her out, boys. Girls. Peoples. Anyways. Comes in the box is... Comes with the owner's manual. Hey, okay? The owner's manual. Check it out, boys. Decent. Hey? Decent. Comes with part listings. So what that tells me is you can get replacement parts you can. So let's just type one in here for the hell of it and see what comes up on the old Amazon. So we'll type in the, let's, let's say we need a new um, front steering and engine assembly. So we'll go 911-ZJ04, boys. Hey, 04. Nothing. Hey, nothing, boys. So let's go GP, GP toys. Parts, boys. Well, there you go, boys. You can get the batteries, you can get the gearbox, you can get the bumpers, tie rod ends, upper control arms, wheels, gears, shocks, motors. So, boys, parts are available, they are. So, that's a good sign, eh? It's always a good sign when you get parts. Friggin' right. So, there you go. We know we can get parts for this thing, so that makes it a little better right there, it does, eh? Friggin' right, it does. Why wouldn't it? So anyway, let's open this thing up, and they got zip ties in here, so we're gonna need a pair of cutters in there. Any RC. Oosh, eh? Oosh. Cut that one. Oh, boys. A kid in a candy store, I am. Oh, boys, I don't wanna wreck the box. Come on. What's really going on? Let's see if we can get down in here and get it, eh? Oh, there we go. Where's the other one, boys? Oh, we got the, we got the front, we got the back end, we do. Now we just gotta get the front, eh? Boys. Girls. One more. Can I get it? Decent. Beautiful. So anyways, we'll go over the car first of all. Freaking right we will. Boys. So it's a pretty neat little machine, hey? Independent suspension on. You got the steel bones at the back, hey? You got these little cool tires. She's only two wheel drive, boys, hey? But it's pretty freaking cool. Look at that little thing. Look at the bearings go on them, boys, hey? Holy. That's friggin' decent. The track just doesn't even spin that long, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it's four-wheel drive though, isn't it? So anyways, just a comparison. Like I said, this is a 112th scale, as you can see, which is, you know, pretty small, boys. Hey? So if you get out, just to give you kind of a comparison, we'll pull up the daughter's 110th scale Rossler, eh? So there's a difference in sizes. That will kind of give you an idea how small it is, which is kind of decent. It's actually cute. 112 scale is pretty cool, actually. I like it. So anyways, that's about the size difference it is. Remember, the link's below for this thing if you want to know. So it has four pins to hold the body on. Four little pinnies, boys. Okay, so we'll pop them off. i got to use this because, you know, they're too small for these boys' fingers. Friggin' right they are. So 
So the body comes off, it's made of the same thing that all normal RC bodies are made out of by the feels of her. Hey, friggin' right. Oh, boys. So by looking at it right off the bat, it's definitely kind of a sealed unit. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's definitely a good for the kids starting out it is, eh? By the looks of it, it's not, you know, real RC grade, you know, high end grade, but it's only a hundred bucks, boys. So what do you expect? You can't get real good for a hundred bucks, you can't. So there's a battery it comes with. It's a 9.6 volt, 800 milliamp lithium ion battery, boys, eh? So that's where the battery goes. It's got an on and off switch, little antenna, the motor's buried in here, and the steering's obviously buried in there, boys. So, you know, there's not much to show you there. It's all independent suspension. Pretty friggin' cool. I like it. It's cute. It's a cute one, it is. So anyways, let's get the, that's a car. We'll try it out, but we'll get the remote out next. We'll leave that out, and we'll leave that out for now. So, we'll get out the box and the remote key, okay? Let's see how I can get this open without wrecking it. I don't wanna wreck it. I want to give it away one day, hey? I want to give her away as a prize. Why wouldn't I? So we get this out. We just cut all the tape, boys. Okay. Cut all the tape, Ruski. Thanks a lot, by the way, uh, GP Toys, for sending this to me to review, eh? I appreciate it. Why wouldn't you, though, hey? Why wouldn't you? Hopefully, you get a drone one day to review. That'd be freaking decent. Freaking right, it would be. So there's a remote. We'll start with the remote. We will. So the remote, it feels kind of. You know, it just feels kind of toyish, boys, to be honest with you. Friggin' right it does. What does this do, boys? Boys, how do you steer it, boys? There must be more, more stuff for the remote in the box, eh? So let's get the box out and we'll open that up and see what's in here. Because there's no steering wheel. It's, it's like buried in there, boys. So let's see what's in the box, eh? So in the box we got. So it comes with the steering wheel for the remote. It does. There you go, boys. Hey, throttle, reverse, power, hey, and trim, boys. Well, there you go. It's kind of a sleek little remote, to be honest with you. Comes with a tool to change the tires. Comes with a couple extra gears, it does. Comes with some extra screws, eh? Comes with, oh, it comes with a racing fin, boys. Freaking right it does. Look out, Scout. And it comes with a charger and a screwdriver. Holy, what's really going on? So we'll plug the battery in and see what kind of charge we got in there, we will. What good is it if we can't try it, eh? Friggin' right, Jesus. We'll plug this in, and it says red, boys. So it means it's charging, okay? Red means charging, boys. So, there we go. Plugs in like that, this and that, and the other thing. So I don't know how much juice there is in it. We'll get this open up, and we'll see what it takes for batteries. So it takes two double A's, it does. Two double A's, boys. You know, two double A's, eh? Why would you? Uh oh! I'm getting low on the old battery situation here. All I had left is two. That worked out good, didn't it? So we'll stick in two batteries and we'll shut the old lid of Ruski. Screw it back down with a little trusty screwdriver they sent with it. So that works. Decent. We got a red light, so that's decent. Decent. So let's just see if there's any juice in this battery, boys. I don't want to wait. I want to try it right now, I do. Uh oh, she's flashing red, boys. What does that mean? Does that mean decent or not decent? Oh. Well, it looks like the servo for the steering works okay. Hey, okay. it works pretty good. Goes back to center. It's got slow gain, so it's just not one way and the other way. It's actually got, you know, pretty good. Pretty good, it does. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't just go turn a little bit and it's not all the way. It's really, really touchy. So let's check the throttle. So the reverse is nice and steady, and the forward is nice and steady. Boys, that's not too bad, man. Freaking right it's not. But let's try her out. Why wouldn't we? So we'll turn you this way. We'll give her a little rip around the garage, we will. We'll put the fin on after, we will. This is freaking decent. Hey, I like, even though it's just a toy, I like it, boys. This one would be good for in the house, eh? If you want to go racing around your house with it, and you have a room, it's decent because my RCs won't go in the house. So I'm kind of going to enjoy this for that. Big time. Oh, it's got a, a protective cover over top of the body too. Hey, okay. so you can just peel that off like I did with that other little doodad I reviewed. So there we go, boys. Let's give her a rip down here on the ground. Why don't we? Hey. Oh, boy. That's freaking decent. Must you do a wheelie, boys? Nope, but I don't know how charged the battery is either. 
Some little bird up though, eh? Something donuts. Freaking great, right, it will. Easy, careful on the trailer. Easy, gentle. I like her, boys. Hey? That's a decent little toy for a hundred bucks. Freaking right it is. Hey? Freaking right. Let's pull a tire off and we'll check out what kind of nut she's driving. See what's going on here. Let's dissect it a little bit. Oh, so she's got the normal same size locks for the tires. She's got the pin. The bearings are definitely in there, boys. So that's good. Hey? You know what, boys? For a hundred bucks, this thing could be a lot of fun. It could be. Freaking right it could be. It's got decent little tires on it. That's a cool little toy, man. If you have like a six-year-old or five-year-old or whatever year old, this is a great little starter RC it is. Hey, friggin' right. Um, adult? Eh, not so much, boys. Hey, I wouldn't buy this if you're an adult, but for your kid to learn on, it's friggin' decent. And the steering is like super tight when it's on. Like, it won't even let you turn it. Frig no. Well, that's decent. I wonder if we'll do a burnout, boys. Did they even get hot? Yeah, they did. Oh, boys, look at I got friggin' burn marks on the friggin' table, I do. Friggin' right! Decent! So it does a burnout, boys. Hey, in case you want to know, it does a burnout. Friggin' right, it does. That's awesome. But anyways, there's my review on this little guy here, which is actually really decent, it is, for, for being a toy, eh? It's friggin' awesome. It looks cool. It feels cool. And it's small and, uh, you know, decent. But they're not oil-filled shocks on it. Definitely not. They're just plastic by the looks of them. Yeah, they're plastic shocks, boys. Other than that, so make sure you go and uh, get your kids one of these, eh? I'll put the link below, like I said, for it. And uh, great for the little kids it is. For ripping around the house or chasing the cat or running over the dog, eh? Hey? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you run the dog over? But, uh... Pretty decent, boys. Tires aren't new anymore, though, boys. I kind of did a burnout on them, I did. Hey, okay. Yeah, it's burning the tires off, and I am. Friggin' right. It's kind of decent. It does a burnout. Frig yeah. How can it not be cool? It's an RC, hey? Okay? How can it not be cool? Don't know what the durability of it is. Don't think it would do very good in the snow, so I'm not even going to take it out in the snow. But anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now.